Hi everyone, this is Nina. Today I will be talking about um, financial analysis and what it takes to hire a company or to hire employees. Now let me explain this in the shared screen. Okay. So first, I'm going to try the financial freedom of attitude. Then I'm going to draw one thing over here and let's see, this is the financial pattern of the Okay, so now we know we want to hire what's left best. We want to hire employees. First off, we want to hire prohibited area of supply this means that it is okay to have so much supply and so much demand. How about if we are in shortage of employees? We will have short supply Where is the problem? and a huge demand of supply meaning we will not be in contact with the world outside However, we will need a financial stability inside our inside our what? Inside our offices. This is why we need more offices and less profit, profitable cause of impact, which is the way things work. This is just the way the world works, not works, is, but the world is the world's largest supply chain that is underrated by the suppliers and the demanders. So now 
down. We understood something. We need, let's just highlight it. Or we can draw it, um, something. Let me see. So now we understood that this is why we need more opposites. More opposites. And less profitable cause of impact, which is, sorry, which is the way things work. This is why the way the world is, but the world is the world's largest, largest supply chain that is underrated by the suppliers and the demanders. Okay. So now let me draw something for you. This is a box. We'll put it in the middle of the arrow here. And we'll say this is supply. Then we'll draw another box and we'll put it here. We'll name it as demand. Now, one thing we know is that supply. is equal to demand and demand is equal to the supply. Now, this is the way the mind works. For example, let me give you an example and write it over here and let me end it. Okay. For example, another example, there is a huge supply of demand. Which is the world's, which is the world's largest demand factor, and that is the world's biggest fault. Now, what is the demands and the supplies working under the same place? And that is the supplies now what is the demands and the supplies working under the same place and that is the supply chain of the grow your supply chain of 
entity and you will go your command you will grow your supply you will grow your locations you will limit but grow your employees meaning you will not limit them and say 10 employees for a certain day or a certain time then your demands supply and your supplies of chain. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you understood it. So all these, if you put them all around in a circle, all the employees in a circle right here, they will be let me tell you one thing. So if you grow your employees, this means we grow the population. We grow the population. And this is something we need to do because the world is huge and it's endless and it's round and it's round and it's round and it's round. And it's round. So put them all on here. You grow your financial freedom of pattern, you grow your supply. You grow the population, you grow a financial pattern on the day, you grow your demand. Let me just write this. So this is what we do. Grow, grow. We grow the population, we grow the financial, we grow. And then last but not least, we, there is also locations. There are also employees, which are all over here. All over here, all over here. There. Let me just write one more word. There. Unlimited for the time and the day and the moment. And the second, there on the middle. Thank you so much, everyone. This will be this is this will be it. And thank you for watching.